Hey guys, welcome back to Streaming Nerds and I'm back with another video tutorial. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can clear cache or how you can clear data on any Android app on your Android box or any other Android device. A lot of people get confused on how to clear data on Kodi or any other application on their Android devices. Well, today I'm going to show you how you can clear cache or clear data on any Android app manually and I'm also going to show you how you can do that by using an app which I personally use and highly recommend. So first let me show you how you can clear data or clear cache on your Android box or any other Android device. So for that you need to go on to your Android applications and right now I'm on the home screen of my Android device and let me go into my applications by clicking on this circle with the six dots. So clicking on this it brings up all my applications and in here I will try to find out the settings of my Android device and here we have the settings icon and I'm gonna click on it and now it brings up this page and in here go on to the second row and then go on to more settings click on it and now it brings us to the core settings of our Android device and in here you need to go on to apps so click on apps and now as you can see we're inside apps and in here let me try to find Cody Cody is right here and let me click on it and as you can see right here we have clear data option and we also have clear cache option and these options will show up for all the applications in here so if I go back and if I click on hotspot shield in here it again shows me the same options and I can clear cache I can clear data as well so let me go back and let me go into Kodi again because a lot of people want to clear cache and clear data on Kodi so I'll be using this as an example so if you want to clear cache on Kodi or any other app you just need to come in here and then click on clear cache that's it it's gone it was 86 megabytes and now it's just 12.00 KB which means it has cleared off the cache and you can see in here it also has 23.86 megabytes of data in it if you want to clear it just click on this and it gives you this pop-up window and in here press on ok if you want to clear it I don't want to clear it but I'm showing you how you can do it so you just need to press ok here and it will clear the data as well and I would also like to inform you that if you clear data on Kodi or any other application and for example if you clear data on Kodi it will take off all the bills all the add-ons that you have installed on Kodi. So now let me go back. So we're back to the main home screen of my Android device and I showed you how you can clear cache or clear data on any Android application manually via the Android settings and now I will show you how you can do the same thing by using an Android application that I personally use and for installing that application we will first go on to our Android settings and as you can see I have my Android settings on the home screen and if you don't have your Android settings on the home screen go into your apps and you will find your Android settings there so I'm gonna click on it and now in here I will go to the second row and then click on more settings and then in here you need to go on the security option Option, click on it and then in here you need to make sure the unknown sources option is enabled so as you can see I have already enabled my unknown sources option and in case you have not enabled it please enable it and after enabling it go back to the main home screen and now from here you need to go on to your browser and I'm using Chrome browser and it is on the home screen and in case you don't have your browser on the home screen go check your applications and it will be there So I'm gonna click on my browser here and right now I'm inside my Chrome browser and I'm gonna click on the top address bar here and I'm gonna type in apkpure.com and then I'm gonna press ok on my remote and now after it opens up the website you need to click on the search option on the top right side you can see this magnifying glass click on it and it brings up the search bar then click on the search bar and type in app cache cleaner and then press ok on your remote and then it brings up a list of applications and in here you need to click on app cache cleaner by apex apps click on it and in here you need to click on download apk Okay, so I'm gonna click on it and now it gives us this pop-up window and in here I will click on download and if it shows you an OK option here click on OK but for me it shows a download option in here so I'm gonna click on download and right now it has downloaded this application and in order to access my downloads I will go on to the top right corner click on the three dots and then click on downloads here and guys this application is also available through Google Play Store but I did not go through that method of installing this application because a lot of people out there have not set up their Google Play Store properly so I showed you where this method which is much simpler than that so now in here as you can see at the top that we have already downloaded the app cache cleaner so I'm gonna click on it and now it brings up this page and in here you need to click on install here 
So I'm going to click on install and now this app has been installed and it is showing me the open option here. So I'm going to click on open and now it shows up this window where it says app cache cleaner and then a start button. I'm going to click on start button and now we're inside this application and it is showing us an ad. That's okay for me and I'm going to click on do not appear again in seven days. I'm going to tick check it. And I'm going to click on done so this ad won't appear again until the next seven days. And right now we're on the main screen of app cache cleaner. And as you can see, it is showing us the applications in here and it is also showing us the size of their cache file. And as you can see, my Kodi application has 83.8 MB of cache files in it. And if I want to delete the cache files on my Kodi, I will hit the bin option in here. So you can see this little bin here. So if I click on it, and now at the bottom it is giving us this pop up window and in here you can see it is showing us one tap cache clean accessibility. You need to turn it on in order to be able to one tap cache clean. So if you want to clean the cache with one tap which is by clicking on this bin icon you need to turn this functionality on first. So I'm going to click on turn it on and now it has taken us inside the Android accessibility option you can see at the top and now in here you can see there is app cache cleaner we're going to click on it and right now we can see it is off and we are going to turn it on by clicking on this toggle here and now it gives us this pop up window and I'm going to click on OK. So we turn that on and now it has taken us back to the list of applications inside app cache cleaner and now if I want to go ahead and clear the cache on my Kodi I will go and click on this bin icon here and now it shows us this window where it says please wait cleaning is in process so we need to wait a little while so that's it we have cleaned the cache on our Kodi and you can see it is showing us here we have cleaned one application so let's go back and in this application you can also clear the cache on all applications that are being displayed here you just need to click on the clear all option here so if you click on clear all option here it will clear the cache on all the applications that are being displayed in here and this option refreshes the list so if I click on it it will refresh the list and pop it up again and these three lines which you can see on the bottom left corner if you can click on it it shows you how you would like to sort the applications inside the app cache cleaner so let me close it and on the top left corner we have the three bars if we click on it it brings up the sidebar and you can see one tap clean it is enabled and we have the settings we have the feedback rate about we do not need to worry about these options but I would like to show you one thing in here which is pretty interesting. So let me click on settings in here and in the settings you can see there is an option known as auto clear interval. So if I click on this, so you can see right now there is no auto clear interval but you can set it as per your wish. For example, if I want to set it to 6 hours, I will click on it and now we can see auto clear interval set to 6 hours which means that this application will auto clear the cache after every six hours. So if you set it up, you never have to worry again to clear the cache on your applications on your Android devices. This is a very useful option in here. So that's how you can clear cache on any Android app by using this amazing application on your Android devices. So that's it for this video guys and those were the two methods of clearing data and clearing cache on your Android devices. And guys, if my videos help you, please hit the like button on this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll be back with more awesome videos, so stay tuned to my channel. And I love you all. Bye-bye.